The saying, ignorance is a blast, applied to me more than 20 years ago when I moved here from a big city. I realized that this creed became an anchor of our daily life here. Our vegetables, berries, fruit trees, flower beds, and even our hot tub depend on it because of water. And in the future, I wish to raise some fish and generate microhydropower. I didn't know anything about rural living when I moved here. I followed my instinct that this place was special. It was love at first sight when I met this creek. But soon I experienced how dry it gets in late summer. So while we were building our studio, we decided to get the excavator to dig out a big pond while it was on site, thinking we might use it one day to store more water. And it did store lots of it, but only for a short time because the ground has more sand than clay, allowing the water to escape. I had hoped nature would slowly seal the pond over time, and it did over the years, but at this rate, it will take decades. As of now, we barely make it through the dry season each year, and climate change is not helping. City water is not accessible here, the water produced by our shallow well could barely even sustain our household needs, let alone also be able to maintain a garden as well. But now I can, all thanks to the creek and my big pond. The ground becomes fully saturated during the raining season. The surface water makes the land muddy and icy. I have dug out numerous trenches to redirect the water, at first by hand with an iron bar. This photo captured the precise moment I decided to own my first heavy machinery, as I wanted the self-abuse to stop. Soon after, I bit the bullet and bought this 1998 Kubota B21 backhoe, which changed everything. My only regret is that I should have bought it from day one. So we live on a hill and we have two ponds. The bottom one is bigger and gravity free from the creek. The water collects in this pond and is ready to be pumped uphill to irrigate the plants when needed. As of now, we use garden hoses for watering, smaller diameter for vegetables and berries, and a larger 1 inch diameter for the orchard. But we once had a much fancier system, which is programmable in zones with a controller. It served us well, but I'm in the process of redesigning my garden. Plus, I made a few mistakes with the old system, such as using non-ideal fittings, and didn't install a sand filter for filtering out organic matter, which constantly clogs up the fittings. In the future, I will install a sand filter and seal both ponds better. And I will use better fittings to help conserve water by putting water where it counts and minimize evaporations. And I would love to raise some fish as well. This garden did not exist 20 years ago. It was just a grass field. We planted and built everything you see, and it rewarded us with tons of nutritious organic produce. Many years ago, we had to downsize our garden as it produced more than we could consume, and gardening takes a lot of time. But 20 years is a long time, and things are starting to rot and fall apart. Hence the need and opportunity to redesign the garden. 
Just a reminder, I did a two-part episode called Water Tank. It's about dealing with household water shortage and getting the most out of a shallow well. Please check it out here. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video, it will help me a lot.